Hey guys, check it out. We got the new Magnum Metro S. It has a lot of the greatest features we've always loved out of Magnum bikes, plus some new ones, all in a brand new shiny package. Let's, uh, let's dive in and take a look. We're gonna start up here at the cockpit. So handlebars, what are we seeing here that we're used to? The nice ergonomical uh, leather imitation grip, still animal friendly. Um, nice stitching on the side. We can still get the, the mirror in over here. Everybody loves the, the left mirror. Coming on from there, we got the trigger thumb throttle opposed to a twist. Really uh, easy to reach while you're riding. You know, you don't have to look down or uh, get your hand off at all. And you see you can still reach the buttons as well. So it's a nice little cluster of controls. Um, really easy to access while you're riding, even going faster over technical terrain. Got the brake levers right here, mechanical disc brakes, bring you to that smooth controlled stop, even barreling fast down a hill. As we move down, we see, we see the classic, um, you know, Magnum, uh, a handlebar curvature that we're used to and we love. Um, you know, we don't want the straight, but we don't want too curvy. It's just that subtle in between, which pairs beautifully with the uh, adjustable stem, which, you know, is just the biggest crowd pleaser ever. Most people like to keep it in this upright posture. And you see the curvature here too, also allows for so much play. You got all these axes and angles. So it really is a one size fits all bike and it uh, accommodates any posture that you're looking to ride that day. We have a nice little, uh, uh, wiring harness here that that clusters them into is bolted to the stem um, I really like it you know we're getting all there's a lot of wires and cords and cables you know hydraulic tubes everything that ends up coming in and out of these handlebars um, and they've done a really good job of, of keeping everything clean serviceable um, never in the way but right where it's still accessible for when you need to access it up top here, I'm really loving the new Magnum display it's got a nice kind of like square feel to it I'm moving on over we got the twist shift throttle, um, which everybody loves. It's just very, it's very natural, you know, so you don't have all these, uh, the trigger forward or backwards, which can be confusing, especially when you're moving fast. It's just an easy twist shift. We still have a protective coating here. Let me pull that off. So you can see uh, the seven speed shifter here right now. I'm in the highest. We have a nice bright headlight. Um, I could try and turn it on, but we're, we're in daylight right now. Well, here, it'll be fun. There we go. It's on now. Um, you can kind of see it. Uh, of course, at, at night though, you're gonna see that you got a good cast. You can uh, see what's coming at you. And of course the cars can see you well too. We've got preload and um, lockout on our front fork suspension here, which just really keeps the ride smooth, especially when you're going that those faster miles an hour. Sometimes you hit a field of potholes. You can't dodge every one. You hit it, it's gonna absorb a lot of it, help you control the bike and, and not like, impact all your joints so much nice fenders to keep you clean i really like the curvature the little shade of uh you know as you see the sun hitting it you get a little glare here and a shadow there and just enough clearance so it's not going to be rubbing all the time and then we get to the tires you know everybody loves these deep brown tires it's nice they're, they're not too uh light in color so they they don't like get a lot of marks or scuffing on them that you notice um but it really complements the whole aesthetic look of the bike it it's got like that new age retro kind of feel going for it um, just with the electric paired in. I don't know, I love it, a lot, of, a lot of folks do. Speaking of this tire, take a look at the width there. We're, we're looking wider than we've seen on, on previous metros um, and, and everybody's uh, liking those wider tires. We got the brakes up here, of course, a uh, quick release on the front axle. So if you are loading into a vehicle and you just need to um, pop off the front wheel, it's real easy to do so. And this is your mechanical uh, disc brake caliper up here, very serviceable. Uh, just tighten up this cable as it loosens over time, uh, keeps, your, keeps your service bills low. And while we're looking down here at the wheel, you see these nice coated spokes. Um, that's a nice touch, you know, cause, opposed to just exposed metal. That's going to protect you against corrosion um, and just the integrity of the wheel as, it, as a whole. Nice strong rim too, uh, machine walled there. Oh, here's, here's one of my favorite components, the battery. Um, we pull it out very easily just takes two seconds with this key that was already in there now you don't need the key to actually operate the bike you only need the key to remove the battery um, and it's really nice to have a removable battery uh, so you can charge it just on the bottom down here on or off the frame of the bike it's just uh, it's a 48 volt 2.1 uh, charger, um, simple plug. It looks and works just like a laptop charger. You can plug the charger into any regular wall outlet. 
Um, and uh, if you're holding it, you'll notice it's, it's heavy and you, you actually want your battery to be heavy. Um, a lightweight battery is a low capacity, cheap battery and mag, you'll never find that on a Magnum bike. Um, so everybody always wants, you know, more power and more range on their subsequent electric bikes. You know, if you're getting your second or third, but don't worry with, uh, with Magnum, you're, you're going to get that right off the bat. This is, uh, let me confirm here. Yeah, 13 amp hours. So our average customer is getting 40 to 60 miles with this bike. You know, most of us tend to live in about a 10 mile bubble uh, and you can just go anywhere faster, easier and more fun on an electric bike. And you know, you really go more day, more than one day without even needing to, to charge your, your battery at that rate. It does take about four, four to six hours to fully charge your battery if it's fully drained. Um, just plug it in overnight, it's good to go the next day slap it back in and like I said you can keep these keys at home on your ride it's not like something you have to take with you um, just to remove the battery indicator this button right here is just a little indicator and it wakes up the battery from a sleep mode while we're looking at uh, down tube section here um, nice geometry throughout all right so this deep step through gotta love it you know everybody loves it and yes gone are the days of guys bikes and gals bikes we all you know uh, they're all unisex these days and everybody loves a step through. So this is special, this is awesome. I love seeing this more and more. Uh, this is a double-legged center kickstand here. It's almost like motorcycle-esque. Um, fully alloy metal, bolted straight into the bottom bracket. Nice pedals, you know. Um, you can ride them barefoot, it doesn't hurt too much, but you still got some little traction right there too. Um, you know, no need for fancy biking shoes. Uh, you can ride with flip-flops or or tennies or whatever you're going for. Uh, we got the reflectors, of course, which are great um, on the front and back. Uh, alloy metal just gives that strong feel. We got a, a sidewall up here to make sure that the, uh, the chain doesn't drop off, which is nice. Nobody likes to stop and put their chain back on. This is a controller, which is nice that it's accessible for serviceability, which can save you a lot of money over life of the bike, but it's very aesthetically tucked in nicely. Um, you hardly even see it or notice it there if I hadn't called it out. We have a nice derailleur guard and can't emphasize enough how awesome a derailleur guard is on a bike. You know, knocking, so this right here, uh, what do we got, Shimano, Acera, um, seven speed but if you if you hit it you're not going to get all seven of those speeds or it's going to be jumping all around 48 volt 500 watt motor right here more than enough for just about everybody you're going to get up any hill no sweat and uh, with those lower lows it doesn't feel like too much power for uh, a smaller rider a novice rider you know you could give this to uh, you know a, a younger adolescent or uh, you know an older grandma and uh, they're gonna have enough power to get up the hill, but they're not gonna be, you know, accidentally popping wheelies going down the street either. So um, just perfectly tuned and dialed. Let's move on up over here. We got that 50 pound capacity rear rack, which I just kind of completes the bike so nice. You know, I, it's always a shame when you see bikes that don't come with racks and you'll never see that at Magnum. All bikes come with the best racks you can, you, you can get. Um, so this is a platform for you to build on. You got a bungee here, so sure you could bungee some stuff down, but I always really encourage get a basket like a big wire basket um, or a canvas pack you can get some panniers some people call them saddle bags uh, load this up and then you're going to be inclined to choose your helmet over the car keys way more often throughout your daily life um, you know you can go you can pick up groceries you can take your laptop or your school books or your sporting gear or whatever it may be your yoga mat i mean this this is an amazing tool on the bike that that should be taken advantage of um, as, as you use it. Like I said, you know, choose the bike over the car. It works when you take in, into account all these features that Magnum just gives you stock standard on its bikes. Back here we have uh, the, the illuminating rear light and it is wired in. So you'll never need to uh, recharge or to get any batteries. Oh, last but not least, let's talk about the good old saddle. Um, so you see it ties in beautifully with the brown tone, with the grips and the, the tires, and it is gel opposed to foam. Gotta love gel. You know, foam compresses, whereas gel pushes back in a good way. It just makes for a really nice feel. And the, the curvature, the shape and size accommodates most everybody. You know, of course you can swap out for a different saddle, stock standard seat post here. That's real easy to do. Um, but it's nice that Magnum gives you such a good saddle that most people, you know, can't find one that suits them better. Um, and it does pair beautifully with the bike with the color accents. Moving just below the saddle, you'll see that we have uh, the shock post. Love the shock post. All right, so let's see if I can, yeah, you see how it compresses? So that just takes that, uh, that punch um, away when you hit a bump or a crack or anything, uh, preserves your, your spine <laughs> a lot. Um, it, it just is so much smoother. Of course, this is adjustable with a quick release. Um, so you can get it just the right height 
for whatever riding you're doing. If you haven't yet, try and find a place where you can get a ride. Uh, we have an enormous amount of dealers nationwide, so just check out our website. There's a dealer locator. Um, if not, uh, you're going to be seeing them riding around your neighborhood pretty soon. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for listening, and I uh, hope you get a chance to hop on one of these soon.